If you have heard of the term, pea super, then you must be interested in the dreadful London smog of 1952. Do you remember a time when London was almost completely engulfed in a thick, choking fog? If you don't, then these old photographs from December 1952 will take you back to a time when the city was shrouded in darkness and death. On Saturday December 6, 1952, the performance of La Traviata at Sadler's Wells had to be abandoned at the interval due to the dense pea super smog which had slowly crept into the auditorium. People at the back were unable to see the stage and the incessant coughing of both the audience and the performers had become intolerable. The greyhound racing at White City was halted when the dogs couldn't see the hare and the mallard duck flying blindly across London reportedly smashed into Victoria Station and crash-landed onto Platform 6. The newspapers also reported that it took hours for torch-bearing policemen to clear a traffic jam around Hammersmith Broadway. The weather for the previous weeks in London had been colder than normal but relatively fresh and clear. Houses throughout the capital were burning large amounts of coal in a million fires and stoves, emitting a particulate-ridden sulfurous acidic smoke. The four power stations at Battersea, Bankside, Watts Road, and Kingston-upon-Thames were all emitting vast amounts of black smoke into the capital's air. On December 4, an anticyclone settled over the cold, windless London, causing a temperature inversion where cold, stagnant air is trapped under a layer of warm air, creating the infamous pea super. Because of the dirt and the vile, clogging, unpleasant taste of the smog, many people held masks of gauze, scarves, or handkerchiefs to their faces. Hospitals were soon filled with patients suffering from acute respiratory diseases, and deaths in the city began to mount. The British Committee on Air Pollution estimated that during the five days that the smog smothered London, there were 4,000 more deaths than would have occurred under normal circumstances. Even during the next summer, the death rate was 2% higher than normal. Legislation followed the Great Smog of 1952 in the form of the City of London, Various Powers, Act of 1954 and the Clean Air Acts of 1956 and 1968. These acts banned emissions of black smoke and decreed that residents of urban areas and operators of factories must convert to smokeless fuels. These old photographs capture a moment in history when London was plunged into darkness and despair. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era. Thank you.